So today we're going to look at CSS skills graph. Uh, based on this design from the folks at Best PSD Freebies, we're going to be essentially coding this part that shows the skills in the horizontal type of graph. So I have a bit of a boilerplate code ready, um, index file that just has um, the Roboto font that we'll be using from the Google uh, web fonts. A container with one uh, bar title here. Then for the main JS, we have an empty file and basic styles um, just to get uh, a nice presentation. And this is what it looks like in the browser. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at the design real quick. We have about five skills here. We have a bar that is a container and then we have an inner bar that has the value of how much of that scale um, this designer has. So how would we go ahead and represent that? So let's start first with the HTML. Okay, in our index file, we had this hello. Let's go ahead and instead of just hello here, let's put in Photoshop since that's the first skill that we are targeting. And for the bars, we're gonna have an outer container with the class of bar. And inside of it, we're gonna have an inner container with the class of bar inner. So this is not gonna hold any information, but how are we gonna go about the numbers that we see here. So we're gonna be uh, using uh, sudo selectors. But in order to do that, let's first add a data attribute here. And uh, let's just use data percent and give it a value of 90%. Now that we have this data percent in here, if we were to refresh, we will see Photoshop, but nothing yet for the bar. Anything that's going to be represented inside the bar here is going to, we're going to be using CSS for that. So let's get into our CSS and um, let's start with the outer container, which is bar. Let's go ahead and um, give it a background color and uh, we will go with uh, I think on the design it was f2 f2 f1 let's give it a width of a hundred percent so it will take the entire width of the parent container then uh, let's give it a height of 30 pixels okay and some spacing for the bottom. Let's give it a margin bottom of 40 pixels. Okay, I think that's good for the bar. Now let's go into the bar inner. Let's go ahead and give it um, background color as well. And we will do 2ECC71. That's the gray color. Uh, that's the green color that you saw in there. Let's um, just for the sake of showing what it would look like, let's give it a width right now of 90%. Um, let's give it a height as well so we can see it. 100% since it's a child container of um, of bar and let's refresh and see what it looks like now okay so we have the beginning of the building blocks but we still need to add that 90% here so one cool way of doing that is uh, we're going to be using the sudo selectors so you have seen sudo selectors before if you have styled uh, ankle links, so you have maybe used um, a link or a hover. In this case, we will use um, the after 
uh, sudo selector. So to do that, let's take bar inner again and add that selector of after. So one more thing we need to add here in the bar inner it's going to be acting as a parent container to the after. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give you the position relative. And I'm going to go ahead and for the after, I'm going to give it a position absolute. Um, and um, let's just put it to the right. And let's do 2.5%. On, um, let's go ahead let's go ahead and add um, that 90% value the way to do that within CSS is using the content attribute and we can target any attribute that's on that element that has the class of bar inner and target the data percent that we have used in our HTML so this data percent here is the one that we have used here. And essentially we are telling CSS, go ahead and grab that value and use it as the content for this. So let's go ahead and refresh our browser and you can see that 90% is there. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and do a couple more things here. Um, we want it to be vertically centered we know that this parent is 30 pixel one way to do that is use the line height rule um, on that um, element so let's go ahead and add a line height of 30 pixel and let's go ahead and give it a color as well so there we go let's refresh and very nice so it's getting very close to the design that we have here. So this design is using Roboto and um, this is uh, bold. So let's go ahead and um, style our bar title and as well our content. So since we are already on the percentage, let's finish that off and um, let's give it a font size. I think it's a little smaller. So the base of the document is 18 pixel. We can leave it at that, I believe. Give it just a font weight of 700. So 700, since we have the Roboto font here and we have these two uh, font size with it, 400 and 700. So for 700 will represent the bold. Okay, so we have that. Let's go ahead and take care of like the bar title. So in our CSS, let's just go and let's put it right at the top here. If we were just to follow the structure that we have in our HTML. And let's give it a font weight of 700 as well. Uh, in the design, everything is uppercase. So let's go ahead and make sure we have that too. And um, give it a font size of 22 pixels. It has more of a grayish color. And I believe when I captured it, it was 5663364, for a lighter gray. And then the margin. So by default, um, header elements will have top and bottom margin. We want to control that. So let's go ahead and uh, add margin zero on the top, zero on the right, 20 for the bottom, and uh, zero on the left. Okay, so we have that. Um, and let's see, we had taken care of the spacing for the bar as well. Let's refresh. 
and um, there you go so this is not very gray <laughs> for the Photoshop uh, font color so let me fix that real quick so for the bar title um, the color I'm missing a tree here I believe so it's five six six three six six for the gray okay that looks more like it so if we put our design in this part and what we have here I will say that we have uh, pretty much step one two and three pretty well covered uh, let's add the other skills so let's go back to our index take this block and pretty much copy it three more times okay very nice so we have our full skills in there and everything is at 90 percent so let's look at the design again the illustrator is at 80 percent html css 90 percent and php mysql 70 percent so illustrator 80 percent html css stays the same and for PHP MySQL 70%. So when we refresh, we see this number being updated 90%, 80%, 90%, 70%, 70 but the bar size is still the same. Now, if we stick with CSS, there is one quick way that we can take care of this. And if you have played with um, fonts before, icon fonts, uh, that's a technique that is used uh, pretty much a lot to do that. We will just add, we could go ahead and just add a secondary class. So here we have bar 90, bar 80. This one would be bar 90 again. And this one would be bar 70. So what we will do in our CSS is just take those classes instead of this width of 90% inside of bar inner we will just have a default width of 0% maybe and let's go ahead and add our secondary classes bar 90 we'll have that let's copy and paste that just two more time in this case because we have 80 and 70 and for this one we'll have 90 percent 80 percent and 70 percent and if we had more we will be adding more so let's go ahead and refresh and there you have it so 90% 80% 90% 70% which basically is the same thing as our design here 